Hey Hair Rules fam, this is your favorite texture guru Dickie and I'm here with my favorite client Victoria and we're going to show you and profile one of my favorite products is Nourishment Leave-In Moisturizer. What's unique about Nourishment Leave-In Moisturizer and, as you and how you should really understand a leave-in conditioner versus a rinse-out conditioner is Nourishment Leave-In Moisturizer or rinse-out conditioners are different. Leave-in conditioners are in addition to, never in place of a rinse-out conditioner. Leave-in conditioners are much lighter and they're meant to be left in so you can add more of them. Rinse out conditioners are meant to be rinsed out and so you'll never use a leave-in conditioner in place of a rinse out conditioner. You'll use them 10 tandem. And again, we're going to show you how to use leave-in moisturizers so that you can have a plethora of styles because if you know the rules then you can break the rules and you can wear your hair however you choose. So let's get started. So here's where before putting Victoria's hair away, we're going to load tons of nourishment leave-in moisturizer and it's like giving herself a conditioning treatment. Basically it's comparable to sitting on a dryer with the cap and conditioner in your hair. Only we're using a different drying apparatus, a comb attachment which helps to detangle, the dryer does the rest and blow all of that conditioner and oil into the hair, kind of like wearable therapy. So you get a nice conditioning treatment. Also, you're able to prep your hair before your twist outs, your braids, your wigs, your weaves. Again, how you prep your hair will determine on whether it was the hair was better after the style and the condition of your hair was intact or if your hair was broken off and dried and breaking, which is not ever good for anybody's hair texture. In addition to nourishment leave-in moisturizer, I'm gonna add our Hair Rules Scalp and Hair Ting Treatment. Uh, be sure to look out for our Hair Rules Scalp and Hair Ting Treatment video. We've chosen these oils that are specific for the scalp, which are much different from the oils chosen for the hair. The scalp ting treatment are oils that are specifically chosen for the skin and the scalp based in grapeseed oil. And it's a beautiful union of oils of tea tree, lavender, peppermint, sweet orange oil, and all good things for anti-inflammatory, deep cleansing, energizing, and circulation. So here's where it's important after you've identified your hair texture that there's a call to action. So for instance, Victoria is a 4C texture so protective styling for her will require her to add leave-in conditioner, all her favorite oils, and for twist outs, say if you get a beautiful pattern, that'll get you a few days or a week out of a style where you can just add a ponytail. And at the end of that week, you can take your twist outs and you can have your hair beautifully coiled. Also, if you prep your hair properly, you'll get more definition out of your twist out or braid outs and you won't get the dryness and your twist outs will last longer and the hair will be more preserved. Or say before you unleash your beautiful twist out, you wear a wig for a few days. Be sure not to wear any of these styles longer than three to four weeks. That's about as long as your scalp and your strands can sustain that amount of stress or neglect before they bite back in the form of hair loss and scalp fungus. So here's where when you identify your hair texture and how you prep your hair before you put it away in any protective style will determine on whether or not it was really protective and your hair was in better condition and preserved when you take your protective style out. Whether it was a twist out, a braid out, wig, a weave, all styles are beautiful, but what you don't wanna do is compromise your own textures. Oh,